Have you ever imagined what would happen if a kung fu master took on an MMA fighter? Well, that would be one hell of a fight. No doubt because both of these martial artists are equipped with some really impressing and vicious powers. Hello and welcome to our channel. Today in this video, we are going to compare kung fu with MMA and elaborate on which one of these will be better in a given situation. So stay tuned with us till the end of the video. Without any further ado, let's start. Kung Fu Monk Kung Fu originated back in China, and it has a history that is more significant than 1500 years. It was practiced a long time ago, and it is still used in many parts of the world, especially in China now. It's one of the best martial arts practiced among experts nowadays. It is often said that most martial arts styles are derived from this style, and it is the original one. However, many other martial arts styles originated from northern China and southern China, and all of them use the name of Shaolin. Chinese martial arts is unique and fascinating that many people have tried to master it and learn it in the past. But the thing is that all of the people and it did up failing to learn it and they were not able to succeed at it because of how difficult it is for them. Let's be honest that Chinese martial arts is challenging and it's not easy to grasp. Yes, we know it's not rocket science, but it's not child's play either and you'll not be able to pick it up easily within a week or something like that. No matter how much you practice, you'll not even learn it within a year for many months. Many people say that it's a lifestyle that you have to adapt to and not just an hour that you practice sometimes and get better at it over time. There are many mixed martial arts available to learn and all of them have different styles and movements. Every type of martial art has its specialty, which is the case with this Kung Fu monk. There's a wide variety of specialties available, and it'll take a person many years to learn them and specialize in them. First of all, we'll talk about the art of Kung Fu and how it's practiced in its purest form around the world and especially in China. It is a very deadly force that known everyone can learn because counter moves are involved in this process of learning this martial art. It's so powerful that you can easily break someone's neck and arms within a matter of seconds, and it's going to be an excruciating process for them, and they might never be able to recover from a lower in their life again. That is why it is known as such a deadly force, and its purest form is not even allowed in the MMA arena because of how dangerous it can be during fighting. But if you think that it's effective for beating your enemies, then the answer is going to be a yes, just because it's a potent force that'll take you out there and fight with your deadliest enemies ever. There are a lot of dangerous and devastating flows and movements that are part of Kung Fu, and you have to learn them with due diligence. You need to be very determined when you're learning this art. The devastating movements that are a part of this martial art will make you skilled enough and very diligently fight against your enemies in any battle that is going to come in front of you. But the thing that you need to keep in your mind is that you need to be very patient and determined if you want to win against your enemies. Otherwise, you will not be able to win. The thing is that there are going to be a lot of intimidating competitors against you, but you have to stay determined and stand your ground, and only then, no one will be able to make you lose in Kung Fu. That is why there will be no rush. You need to learn from someone who is well-trained in the art of Kung Fu, and they'll be able to teach you appropriately without any hassle. One needs to be very careful when using these eight, otherwise one wrong move can take your life away, and you'll be asleep forever. If you don't want that to happen to you, find a master who will teach you this art. Even if you get a quick hit in the throat, then you'll be gasping for air for the next 60 minutes, and you might even pass out. MMA Fighter Now let's talk about MMA, how it can be a challenge for the people, and how it is going to be compared with Kung Fu. We're not saying that MMA fighting will not be a challenge and you should take it easy. If someone is well-trained and professional in MMA fighting, 
they'll have a better competitive advantage than a person who knows just Kung Fu. There are a lot of varieties and styles available in MMA fighting as well, and it can become very challenging for the master to teach you the proper techniques. However, the mixture of Kung Fu and MMA fighting can be a deadly combination that no one will be able to beat and can leave the opponent extremely confused about what you're doing and what fighting styles you're mixing up with your movements. If you want to confuse your enemies in a terrible way and you want to see that fear on their face, then it would be suggested that you learn both of these arts and then be able to achieve your purpose and go quickly within no time. If you're an MMA fighter and get taken to the ground, you'll become a wrestling master and no one will be able to combat against you in the ring. During MMA fighting, one needs to focus on the position of his enemy and then patiently wait for them and wait for the right moment to come. When the right moment comes, only then are you going to attack them and make sure that you do not hurry because if you hurry in this situation, it can be deadly for you in this regard. You'll not be able to achieve your goal as easy. You can put your trust in us because we've seen a lot of MMA fighters until now and what they do. A lot of attention to them. Dedication will make you perfect in both the martial arts, including MMA fighting and Kung Fu. And all you need is patience if you want to win against your enemies in any battle out there on the streets or in the ring. We compared two popular and the most famous martial arts, including Kung Fu and MMA fighting. For both of them, you need to be extremely patient and determined, and then you'll be able to achieve your goal in the end for sure. And that brings us to the end of the video. Make sure to like the video if you enjoyed watching it. Also, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and turn on the notifications so you don't miss any of our future videos. Tell us in the comments below which martial art you prefer the most. See you in the next one. Until then, take care and goodbye.